Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be discussing JSON. JSON is a pretty broad topic, so let's get started. JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, is a popular and lightweight data interchange format that was inspired by JavaScript's object notation. This is easier demonstrated. So in your developer tools, and you can open up your console by pressing Control shift i on a PC or Command-Option-I on a Mac if you'd like to code along, you might define a JavaScript object as follows. Ver object equals name John age 14. Now you'll notice the syntax of this object. It's a series of key value pairs separated by colons, where each key value pair is separated by a comma. And the whole thing is within these curly brackets. This creates the object as so. Now this that we've just created is what is called JSON. If you understand that JSON is really just JavaScript objects, it will be extremely easy to learn for anyone who's familiar with JavaScript. So to turn this into a JSON string that is transferable over platforms, we would use a built-in JSON function. In JavaScript, the built-in one is called JSON, all capitals, stringify. And we'll just pass it that object and it creates this string. Now this string is JSON. You'll notice it looks pretty much identical to uh, the object we made with a few small changes, as in the keys also have to be in quotes, but the numbers still don't. Now if I pass the same string to json.parse, which is JavaScript's ob opposite for stringify, we get the object back. JSON is extremely useful for passing data between backends and frontends. So let's do a bit more JSON learning. Now there's two kinds of JSON. The first kind, as we viewed before, is just an object. However, the second kind can come in the form of an array, like so. This is also JSON. JSON can contain numbers, strings, JSON objects, or JSON arrays. As you can see, if I pass this to json.stringify, it returns the JSON string. Now, JSON has a few limitations. First of all, JSON objects cannot hold functions, unlike native JavaScript objects. Let's demonstrate. So I'll say ver g equals an object, and it'll have a property name is Eddard, and it'll have a function my name, and it will return this dot name. So if we say g dot my name, it returns editor. Now, if we pass this to json.stringify, closing bracket there, you'll see that the function has been omitted. This can be very surprising and unpleasant if you're trying to store complex JavaScript objects in local storage using functions. In order to use a function with a JSON object, you'll need to reconstruct the prototype after you parse it, which is a whole lot of complicated words for saying you need to plan in advance. So I hope that increases your knowledge about JSON. Using JSON, you can encode data in any language. Have a good day.